When you are creating an interface in FileMaker, you pretty much start with a very basic set of parts and objects, and you can go in almost any direction. For example, the layout we're looking at here has had a theme applied, but otherwise has had very little done to it. So it's just the basic set of field boxes and field labels, and they're lined up pretty much where FileMaker put them by default. With a little care and attention, you can create screens and reports that are attractive, easy to use, and a pleasure to work with. Or you can just as easily end up with an ugly mess. It's really all up to you. Before you can hope to design well in FileMaker, I encourage you to take some time out to think about what makes a design really work, and what guiding principles you can use to get there. By way of contrast, let's consider where we might find ourselves if we aren't guided by any particular charter of design principles. I've created a couple of example notes layouts in this file to illustrate the point. First, let's look at one that somewhat resembles some of the layouts I've seen users struggling with in the past. As I guess you can see, this one breaks pretty much every rule of good layout design. It's pretty ugly, there's no consistent theme in relation to fonts or colours, elements are bunched up and somewhat jumbled, some of the colour and pattern choices make the text hard to read, it's difficult to find anything, it manages to look cluttered, even though there isn't actually all that much information to impart, and it's visually fatiguing. Now let's consider some of the things to keep in mind that will help you to avoid the worst pitfalls and allow you to steer towards layouts that are more effective and a pleasure to use. Here are seven key ideas that will guide you towards good layout design. The example layout we've just been looking at lacks any clear organising principle which contributes to it being both visually fatiguing and confusing. So what does that mean? Well, users benefit from consistency and intuitive flow. For example, information commonly flows from left to right and then top to bottom. If a natural order of screen elements is arranged in this way, it'll be easier for users to digest. It's also useful to group elements that are logically linked or related. Fields that provide background information or context might be arranged into one group, while data entry fields might be in another. And if there are more than a few data entry fields, they might best be further divided according to broad categories or perhaps according to their purpose. As a general rule, it's a good idea to constrain the number of styles and colours so that things only differ for a reason. That way, users can quickly scan for the things that are important, and the visual style becomes part of the way information is conveyed. For similar reasons, you really don't want every element on the layout, or a majority of elements, competing for the user's attention. It's preferable if the user's attention is drawn to the most important elements of the layout, rather than having many elements visually shouting. Users will benefit if objects are carefully and purposefully arranged, aligned both vertically and horizontally through a screen, so that the eye can follow simple clean lines rather than having to dance and weave to find a path through the data. It's also a good idea to use the same essential visual cues and the same approach repeated right through a solution on every screen, so that what a user learns on one screen helps them to understand another. So, the first step towards making sense of this jumble of elements would be to choose and apply a theme to the layout. I've used the theme called purple for the layouts in the work file, so I'll apply it here as a first step. With just that one step, FileMaker has introduced some consistency, but there's still quite a bit of work to do to address some of the usability issues we're seeing here. Now let's take a look at how this same screen might appear if it's been reworked with a number of the design principles I've just outlined in mind. Here, the elements on the screen make much better use of the available space. It's easier to see what's what, while things that are of greatest interest or importance stand out. Everything is easy to read, and it's not going to send you home with a headache. Of course, this is only one of a variety of ways that a layout may be designed, while still observing the broad principles I've outlined. You can choose any aspect of the style and arrangement of elements to suit the solution and your or your users' tastes. And as long as you're keeping in mind the seven fundamentals of good design I've described here, you shouldn't go too far wrong. 